What's the crack lads? Welcome to the best starter squad video for eFootball. We're going to show you the best players and managers to start off with and to sign early doors. Zero money spent. Everything's going to be free or earned in the game. We're going to be showing you the best tactics and formations for early doors eFootball dream team. And of course, a couple of hidden tips and tricks along the way. Please do subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. Let's get straight into it. So straight off the rip, even without doing anything, the minute you sign in or you sign up with a brand new profile, you are going to get this 10 player pack here, which includes a free Messi that goes to about 100 overall. You know, your main superstar in Messi up top, um, which is going to be your main kind of guy to use as a right winger, or else you can play him through the middle or else buy a cheap enough centre forward. But you also have Valverde, who's really solid. You've got Son on the left, Messi on the right. You've got a really solid centre-back partnership. You've got Robertson as a left-back. So that's not a bad squad that we could start with early doors. Now, the reason why our tactics or our players' ratings are so low down, so you will see Messi here with 74 acceleration. That has got to do with the manager. So when you have a different manager, the higher the proficiency with the manager, the higher the rating. So you can see just by changing this manager, Messi's gone up to 86 overall. If we change it back to this guy who's got 50 team play side profi proficiency, his rate is going to go down to an 80. So the higher the manager is, the better the manager is. Here's Jose Mourinho with long ball counter. Whichever is the highest play style proficiency, if you switch that and you switch the players out um, and match it up, you will get a higher rate. Now, on top of that, having this as our starting squad, right, with the default manager, we can also easily, I said that we had a problem area with the right back. We could also very easily now train up this because of Trent, right? So there's this brand new uh, skill up training mode that's in here and it just gives you so much stuff for literally like probably about four or five minutes of your time it's super super easy so all you have to do is complete this uh training and it'll tell you exactly what to do so in this one it's to dribble and score and there's two instances of this and then you can just complete this so we already have trent there in the time that i was talking um and that's going to be our right back pretty much sorted so we have Trent there, we have our skill trainers that we can train him up and give him a couple of levels, all for free. Also, instead of like spending money on any players in here, these are all the standard cards, as I said, you can buy any of these, Haaland is 420,000 in-game currency, obviously it's going to take you a while to amass up currency, we have nearly 4 million, but obviously uh, if you're starting a brand new account you won't have that much, but I would always recommend to buy a manager, like Pep is half a milli. But the rest of the managers here, uh, you're talking about Mourinho, you're talking about Laporte, any of these. I would probably recommend a long ball counter starting off. So Mourinho is probably the top pick I would use here if you wanted to pick, pick him. And once you have Mourinho, he's going to actually up the standard of your play, up the overall of your players, up everything in your squad. So for 100,000, that's probably the best upgrade you can do to your squad early doors. And also with this, when you're setting up your team, I would say a really good starting base, uh, unless you're playing wingers, like wingers don't really work too strongly in the game, but you definitely need to have a strong core in the middle of the park. Don't get too bogged down in tactics and formations and stuff like that. Essentially what you want to do with a 4-2-1-3 or something like this is learn the mechanics of the game. Learn what works, learn what doesn't. A wide is not going to see you too far against the different guys. But Once you hit Division you 5 and 4, by then, and up. if you're starting off from scratch, you will also have improved your squad. Now, we're going to improve this squad. But all you really need to know here, uh, before we get too bogged down on it, is basically your team play style. So this is going to be the team play style I recommend. It's probably the easiest to play with. All the players just run in straight lines. They don't kind of like, you know, do different kind of like amazing runs or anything. They're just going to just spread out to enable you to effectively use long passes or you can go short. And of course, they're the deepest from defensively as well. So your AI is going to do a lot of the work for you defensively, holding your shape and all that stuff with long ball counter. You can dabble with whatever one you want. You've got possession, quick counter, out wide and long ball. But I do think for starting off, long ball counter teaches you the do's and the don'ts of the game. And of course, if you want to change your kits or your team name, you can do that as well and pick any team or kit that you want. So it just depends on what kits that you want to put in. Some of them uh, have nice kits, some of them don't, but that will change your kits for you. So I have a huge issue with this game that I'm going to talk about in a future video, right? And it's just after completely taking away the grind out of eFootball 2025. Because it's great if you're starting off there after giving us free Messi, free Donnarumma, literally free players out the wazoo, right? But I just feel like that all these hidden gem series that I use do, where you'd research for hours and test players out on the pitch, you actually don't need to do that now. I mean, it's 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 a bit of a joke, man, how easy it is to create a good squad that you just saw there a second ago. 
I still think there are probably about four or five players that you can buy if you save up your GP. Rodri for a DMF is absolutely insane. He's just a beast. Probably one of the best free players that you can get in the game with the in-game currency. If you can throw a blocker on him as a player skill, he's absolutely insane. I have videos up on how to train skills and additional skills to players. He's an absolute beast. And also, I would say probably Declan Rice. So Declan Rice is down as a box-to-box -box instead of an anchorman. You can put them both defensive, both deep line, as you already saw in the video a couple of seconds ago, um, with the individual instructions. And you can just turn him into like basically a fifth uh, defender or a third center back. He's got blocker, interception, all the player skills, right? For center forwards, I would say that Lautaro Martinez is like a mini Romario. He's like a mini epic. He trains up beautifully. He's not going to have meta-meta skills or stats, but he's just a goal a game if you can't afford Mbappe. Obviously, listen, Mbappe uh, is going to be an absolute demon for 450000 if you have that GP. Yes, there are budget options there as well. With the way the new gameplay has gone, the physical contact, this guy Brabi from Ajax is an absolute machine. He's got really nice speed and acceleration with 37 levels. If you were looking for somebody that can kind of lead the line a little bit more, Gavi is an absolute beast. He's a whole player. He's 36 levels. He's got really good balance, dribbling, ball control, speed, acceleration. He can play every position in midfield that you want. CMF and AMF and left wing. Very, very solid as well. If you want more budget options, lads, let me know in the comments below. So one of the biggest problems you're going to run into straight away, once you start getting up to divisions is you're going to be having a team like this, which has an overall collective strength of 2462. I'll just turn off my webcam there. So that is the collective strength of our team when you're starting off with all the free players, with no upgrades, that you're literally just starting the game, right? And this is what's going to happen. You're going to come up against squads like this. There is no protection once you go online. And this guy will have spent a lot of money on his squad. So you're talking about him having Rijkaard, which is an in-game player. You're talking about Hullet, the new Deco he has fully trained up. You're talking about having 104 overall, Haaland and Mbappe, Casillas. And if this guy is average to good at the game, he should absolutely smack us. Now, when you're playing against a guy like this, who has obviously spent a lot of money, okay? All the pressure is on him. Because if he starts losing or if he starts not being able to play the game at his terms, he's going to start panicking. He's going to start doing silly things. He's going to make mistakes. And your concentration should be on chance creation. It's not about winning or losing at the start. It's about learning what works for you and learning how to create chances. And more often than not, when you are playing against a high-rated squad like this, you're actually not playing against the opponent, lads. You're actually playing against AI, really strong, high-powered AI cards that is just kind of like playing Legend AI difficulty, if not more difficult, because of the online factor. But with a bit of luck and learning the simple thing, and creating chances, and as I said, a bit of luck, you can actually take the lead against these guys and give them a bit of a humbling, really, if you do the simple thing right. And it will and stand once you here. get to this here as well, you're going to start leveling up all your players. You can choose to manually develop them or auto-develop them. I would definitely manual develop them because it, may, it means that you'll have to learn how to train your cards up. You'll also start to clear your match pass, clear 15 of these, and you will be able to get a free 5-star. Uh, which you can get any of these players here. Vitinha is probably the option we'd go for here. You can start training up players then all you want. You can train these up. Uh, once you start training Messi up, you can turn him into an absolute beast. You will unlock these the more games you play. Um, and then you'll be able to train up to get the max version of these cards. So now we've got progression points. You go into this once he's trained up. You can either do it as we did there, or you earn training XP from playing games. And then, of course, you can just train him up. So there is a recommended uh, build for him, but I would always recommend checking out custom builds. We do custom builds, I do custom builds on the channel all the time. So, But that's just one example there, and you can retrain him as often as you want, as many times as you want. And he goes from you know an 89 overall to 100 overall. So obviously there's other stuff that you can do in the game as well, but it is kind of bare bones at the moment. I mean, if you've come over from you know EAFC, or if you're used to playing free-to-play games, and this is your first eFootball game, there isn't as much to do in games such as NBA 2K or in EAFC. But you can get a lot of free stuff just from simply logging into the game. And, and basically just kind of like being, pre being consistent with logging into the game and getting loads of free rewards. But if you want a second part of this video, we will go through a couple of other kind of more advanced stuff. Just let me know in the comments below and please do subscribe.